It's no secret that Ohio's infant mortality rate is one of the worst in the nation, and unsafe sleep is one of the leading causes of death. I recently sat down with one woman who, through her own loss, is working to stop these preventable deaths. Amanda Saucedo gave birth to her second child, Ben, on October 20th, 2014. She describes him as a sweet baby with lots of personality who enjoyed watching his big brother, Trey. But on November 19th, just one day shy of Ben's one month birthday, after putting him to sleep, Amanda experienced every parent's worst nightmare. He woke up, he was hungry, so I brought him into my bed and you know, I changed his diaper, latched him on to eat like we did every night. And then, you know, we both fell asleep. The only difference between that day and the other days is just that he didn't wake up that day. The coroner ruled Ben's death as positional asphyxiation due to unsafe sleep. In a new report by the Ohio Department of Health, infant deaths in the state are on the rise again at a rate of 7.2 deaths for every 1,000 births. In 2014, the rate was 6.8, the lowest since 1939. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends parents follow the ABCs of safe sleep to prevent these types of tragedies. A, alone, B, on their back, C, in a crib. Stephanie Weigel, Injury Prevention Coordinator at Akron Children's Hospital, explains the importance of these guidelines. Sleeping in bed or bed sharing has been shown to have an extremely high incidence of suffocation, asphyxiation, and SIDS-related deaths. After baby Ben's funeral, Amanda received a teddy bear with his ashes, and that's where she got the idea for Benny Bears, a nonprofit organization promoting safe sleep to ensure no parent ever goes through that kind of pain. Through Benny Bears, Amanda is working to have these teddy bears handed out to new parents at different hospitals. Attached on one side is Ben's story, on the other side, the ABCs of safe sleep. And so far, Ben's story has been shared across the world, in which Amanda says she finds some sort of comfort. When people are like, um, you know, because of him, I decided to change what I do with my babies and, you know, thank you because Ben might have saved my baby's life. It's never a mom's fault if she starts to fall asleep because we're exhausted. So what we're encouraging parents to do is just make those steps and those changes in their life that ensure that if they are dozing off, the baby's safe. Even two years later, Amanda says Ben's death is still hard to understand, but she's continuing to spread his message. I just hope that we can lower the infant mortality rate, start here at home, and then go from there. Amanda has some more goals with Benny Bears. She's hoping to release an educational video for new parents that shows them Ben's story. And if you would like to purchase a Benny Bear or learn more about her organization or the ABCs of Safe Sleep, we have several links for you on our website, WKBN.com.